Hi everyone, um, welcome to the second part of this, um, sorry I'm just brushing my page, it's covered in bits of pencil, um, of the um, weekly planner. Um, we did this picture yesterday and today we are going to do the little bee. Now Johanna herself actually did a tutorial for colouring a bee and I have to recommend it, it was brilliant. So just want to get that out of the way, have a look on her YouTube, go and find it, it's fantastic. I'm going to do it my way, her way was amazing, my way is different, so, you know, there we go. <laughs> I do, you know, I don't, don't want to send you away from my channel, but on the other hand, it is a good tutorial. Now, my bee is going to be yellow and black striped, but I was thinking these bits would be the black, the ones with the lines, but actually his head is going to be black so it's going to be the ones without the lines that are black i'm starting with black as you could guess this is in my hand this is number nine um stedler ergosoft as before and i'll show you where i'm starting with my black now if you use a round and round movement it can give the impression that he's fluffy which is what we would like to do because he he's drawn in a fluffy way I'm only going to use a little bit up there. I'm actually going to do make him much blacker at the bottom. We want to produce a little bit of a shine. I'm not sure what to do with his eyes. I put a little bit of black in there though. I haven't decided yet. We're going to do all our little black areas first. Usually I don't like starting with black because it smudges. But this black doesn't smudge. Um, Ergosofts are very good for not smudging and not looking dirty and I shall be careful as well. So I want to try and make sure it really does look blacker down here at the bottom. So just layer that up a little bit more. I don't think I've done too good a job here either. You can always go back and add more layers until you're happy. Now our little bee has got his saddle on his back for carrying little ivy. Um, hmm. I think I'll leave that bit. Um, so I've got to think of a colour for that as well. I've decided on what to do for his wings, so that's a good start. Um, I'll just put a little bit there. My back's aching, I need to sit up straight. Okay, right. Now, if you've got the 36 set of Stedlers, you'll have the number 8. If you don't, and you've only got the 24, you won't have the 8. You'll only have the lightest grey, and you'll have to work your way with that. Take your black a little bit further up, and fading it, fading it, you know, and uh, then use your grey. But what I'm going to do is use this. It's a little bit easier, because I've got like a stepping stone of another colour in here. So I hope you're all well. I've had a um, fun time already today, it's early, but uh, I popped out shopping, walked along the canal. It was raining actually, but the spring green colour of all the bushes, so pretty in the rain, and it doesn't last long. They, As soon as the leaves mature, they lose that really pretty spring green, so I was really enjoying it while I could hurrying along in the rain there were lots of some daffodils and blossoms and things it's really pretty a more hen flew right in front of me <laughs> cheeky monkey and yeah it was generally just fun and lovely really my hair looks a right state i've got the i've got frizzy hair so as soon as it gets wet it just goes bonkers so my hair's bonkers now bonkers mad luckily i'm not seeing anyone apart from my household now for the rest of the day so that's lucky okay going in with my final color which is number 80 which is the light gray and uh, overlapping a little and just bringing that color up so yeah it was a nice walk i didn't see many other birds apart from pigeons i think it was a bit cold the wind was really quite cold and uh I was glad of my, I'm still wearing my thick winter coat. I was glad of it, to say. Okay. 
and I was really pleased because something that I've uh, been trying to get hold of for a while in the supermarket was back in stock hey and it had a good use by date so I could grab a couple of um, these were um, wraps we always eat home meal carbs and uh, they they've gone out of stock for ages and uh, they've just come back in and I was probably a bit greedy and grabbed two but they'll keep us going for a while always love wraps it's a really easy carb it means I can just make a quick stir fry and uh, sometimes they like a bit of chicken in the oven or something or I just have awesome um, put some beans or something in the stir fry for protein and then you've got a really easy tea so that's nice all evening meal I should say I realize that sometimes people get confused when I say tea now number 49 I'm gonna start with a very little layer of this on the bees here yeah, I was doing some research actually yesterday because my sister was talking about what time we eat evening meals and things like that. And I was showing her the history. Apparently Romans only had one meal a day. Uh, but once people started working in factories, they ate more, apparently. That was just a tiny little bit. We're going to move on to 16 and do quite a bit more of this one. Um, because people used to just eat at lunchtime, I think, uh, midday, I should say, but uh, their sort of main cooked meal. But once they were working outside of the house, you know, um, in businesses, they couldn't do that. So our eating in the UK has evolved. I suspect it's been, it was the same in most countries. Um, I should say westernised, I think is the word. I don't know if that's... It's not a very nice word all developed. Again, not a very nice word. Don't really know. Countries, number one. But um, because people would, um, apparently when businesses first started, they would usually have a canteen. And people would have, in the UK this is, people would have their main cooked meal at work in the work canteen. And I remember my dad actually worked he worked in a factory, but he was did a desk job. Um, well, he was an engineer, and uh, he um, he didn't ever get a um, he was never a greasy boiler suit type engineer. He um, did the sort of designing and things, and then he became a software engineer later once some um, computers sort of developed. Anyway, um, he um, he used to have a canteen in his work number 10 and uh, so he would have a cooked um, meal midday from the canteen and then go home at night and just have a sandwich and uh, um, my mum would do the same she would often go home for a cooked lunch because she worked in a bakery she would be home early because they start at 5 a.m. So she'd be home early enough to sort of have a cooked lunch. Okay, there's our part of our B. Now, we've got all the little legs and bits and bobs to do now. So let's crack on with that, number nine. So apparently evening meals got later and later because of people working late. But in schools, they still have a cooked meal at lunchtime available to children and in college they do the college is usually pizza and chips hardly what i would call a meal but hey <laughs> i think i've got my son says mum you're not like anybody else you've got really odd views yeah. on food um number eight i think odd views healthy views maybe okay I'm not going to do a lighter grey, I'm just going to fade this one down. I don't want to leave a white gap, but I just want it to get lighter. I just think it looks more interesting. And uh, anyway, so, uh, so it was interesting that it was saying that we call meal 
meals different names in different parts of the country most people would use the word dinner to describe their main meal whether that's at noon or in the evening they would use that word but uh, I'm going to do the eyes in the lighter grey uh, what is it number 80 I'm just going to do a little bit I think they're often um, um, I don't know if I've really looked at her, her eyes actually close up I don't know anyway that's that now our saddle next um, I'm thinking we want a contrasting colour we've got pink and purple for our um, sweet pea I'm going to do them toadstools red because I just like red toadstools and so I'm thinking if we do some blue it just adds a different colour in mm. I think I'm going to use these two blues though that is the number 35 and the number 37 okay so I'm going to start with this 35, which is a slightly greener blue. I think it's slightly darker. If it doesn't turn out to be as dark as I want, I can always add a different blue. So I'm just going to put a layer here, because I want this to look like it's standing up a little bit higher than the rest. And then sort of fade this across, where it's catching the light on the top. And down here again, a more solid layer here and a bit less up here. We'll put a little bit in there and there. I'm not quite sure what that is. And we'll do the straps with this one. So a bit harder on the edges. So yes, up nor northern England, they will call their evening meal tea always, whatever it is, apparently. I tend to call it tea because then people know I'm talking about an evening meal because you never eat tea. Um, well, you eat afternoon tea in the middle of the afternoon, I guess. 37. We'll do this bit. I want it to be slightly darker along here than on this bit, if I can. It's quite a small space to play with, but I think I can just about do it. It's a bit darker along here so midday lunch really and uh, evening meal can be called tea dinner or supper for some people supper is a I'm going to use this lighter, this 37 for the buckles as well, but I'm going to put it down quite hard. Some people's supper is their main cooked meal. Some people it's a little bit of cereal or toast or a uh, sort of savoury biscuit before bed. These areas are a little bit too pale, so I'm actually going to grab my lighter blue, the number 30, just to add a little bit more, touch more to them. So yeah, it's um, it's really confusing. But anyway, he's going to buy something and it doesn't matter what it is. He'll have a cooked meal tonight and he gets in with lots of vegetables. Right, I'm not going to overdo that. I'm going to leave it there. Now wings. Now I have a couple of touches for the wings. We'll start with a grey number 80 I want them to look slightly silvery so if I put a darker layer here and fade the same here and the same here and bring that down hopefully that will look slightly silvery and the same here so a bit more down here and under there and then sort of fade towards the middle trying to leave a bit of a white gap I haven't necessarily succeeded that well but I have a little trick but uh, I've got a special pen I'm gonna use to give us some glitter which I think will be fun it'll be 
Interesting to try and colour the rest of the page with glitter already applied. But anyway, now I don't know what this pen is. I'm, I was sent it. I can show you what it says on it. It's Jelly Roll Secura. There's the barcode. Um, I could look that up actually. I might be able to then find it. It's got a pretty shooting star and it's basically a silver glitter pen. And I'm going to use it on the rest of the wing. So on these bits that I haven't coloured, I'm going to apply this. And it is the most beautiful, sparkly colour. I don't know how well that's showing up. I will tip it towards the light in a bit so you can see. It doesn't want to write very well. Come on. I, the problem with glitter pens is the glitter clogs up the nibs a little bit. But hey, it's, uh, you just have to work them a bit harder sometimes. I've heard that pumping the nib like you would on a Posca pen, if you've got those, you can do that on a gel pen as well if it clogs. But I would never do that on a page of a book you're working on. I would always uh, do that on some scrap paper. There, now, you might or might not be able to see the glittery shine, there we go. Glitter, glitter, oh there. He looks rather cool, I have to say. So there he is, our bee. So I'm going to leave that there. We're going to do the uh, mushroom total houses. Um, in a final video then I'm going to go away and finish colouring all the sweet peas and all the bits and bobs that I won't have finished background on the page mm, I may just leave it white applying pastel to you know blue pastel is tempting but I think because this is so pale it's just going to go all over the top of it and the same as here it's going to make this go green and it will spread the glitter all over the page and just be nasty. So I will probably not do a background on this page, to be honest. But we'll see. So that's me for today. Um, have a lovely Tuesday. Um, enjoy your day. Have fun. Um, just noticed I've missed a bit of glitter there. Um, I think it, I did do it. It's just not very bright. There we go. Have fun. Smile at everyone. Um, and thank you for watching and happy colouring.